Hi there, welcome to PA Consulting Pro and welcome to PL300 exam tutorial series. That means if you want to become a Microsoft Power BI certified data analyst associate, then this video is going to be very useful for you. This is a part of our tutorial series for PL300 exam and this covers the updated syllables. gonna get to know how to add measures to Power BI desktop model. My name is Ajay Kumar, I'm Microsoft MVP and Microsoft Certified Trainer and founder of BI Consulting Pro YouTube channel. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. Also, do share this video with your friends and your colleagues if you found it useful and give us a thumbs up. Over here you can see some of the information about me so you can pause your screen and can have a look. Also, Connect with me on LinkedIn and if you have any question or concern, you can also reach out to us via connect at biconsultingpro.com email. Now, in today's video, first of all, we are going to work on measures in Power BI. Then we are going to get to know what are implicit and explicit measures. And at last, we are also going to have a look at the quick measures. I'm going to give you a demo too. So first of all, what are measures in Microsoft Power BI? Well, in Power BI, you have to do a lot of calculations. And if you would like to do some advanced analytics, then you need to perform certain calculations using DAX. DAX is Data Analysis Expression Language, which is a formula-based language and that we are going to use. So as you can see on your screen, there are two kinds of measures. Either you are going to define them as implicit or explicit. Implicit measures are automatic behaviors that allow visuals to summarize model column data. That means you don't need to do anything. However, you can change them and I'm going to show you how to do that. Explicit measures, also known simply as measures, are calculations that you can add to your model. That means you are going to define those calculations according to your own logic. Here is an example of the implicit measures which are already inside your data model or you can also change them. So this is the automatic behavior for, of Microsoft Power BI desktop app and then you can use either of them. However, as I mentioned, explicit are those which you can define your own logic or your own context using DEX, which is a formula-based language. Now it comes to part the implicit measures. Implicit measures, I just introduced you what are those implicit measures. Whenever you see a sigma sign in front of any of the field inside your tables or the data field, that means you can apply those different measures over there. And here is another example of that. Now coming to part of the benefits of these, well, they are easy, you don't need to do much, and you can simply change them. However, it's also not possible to define your custom logics in that. So that's the limitation over there. Now coming part the explicit measures. Explicit measures are those that you are going to define with your own logic and they are DEX functions. If you are coming over here the very first time on our YouTube channel, that means you are not aware about our DEX tutorials or DEX tutorial series. So please do check the link in the description section, which are free of cost, and you are going to get to know all about the DEX, different DEX functions, how to use them with the examples and demos over there. Now, over here, it's an example of a simple measure. For example, you just want to calculate the total sales. So you can use some DEX function and then you can use a field over there. Also, you can change the decimal places, etc. over there. You can also change the currency type, etc. And I'm going to show you them in a quick demo. Compound measures are those where you are going to use more than two measures. You can either call the other measures that you have already created or maybe you would like to use the different DEX functions over there. For example, if you would like to calculate net sales, then for that you have to subtract your discount and return amount from your sales amount. That's how you're going to get it done. Now, lastly, the quick measures. Quick measures is another way that you can create your explicit measures in Power BI Desktop app, but with the help of an assistant. So I'm going to show you that one as well during this demo. Now, there is a common question that is being asked in the exams as well as the interviews that what, are, what is the difference between a calculated column and a measure? Well, both of them are going to use the DEX formula language. However, there is a certain difference. For example, measures are never going to store inside your data model. However, calculated column is going to use the memory inside your data model. Measures are going to always calculate on the fly. However, on the other hand, your calculated column is only going to calculate at the time of refresh of the report. If you're not going to refresh, its value is going to be the same. Now, coming to the part of the consumption of memory, so calculated column is going to consume the RAM 
your memory. However, measures are being calculated on CPU. Likewise, there are some more differences over there which you can read after pausing it, this screen. But please make sure that you know the difference between these two. If you have any question and concern, please let us know by commenting in the comment section below. Overall, just remember that measure is going to give you only one output. That means a single return value. However, calculated column can return you even a table. Inside measure also we return table, but at last the output is going to be the single value itself. Or you are going to generally see the result of an aggregation. But in case of calculated column, you are going to go row by row calculations. Please be aware about that calculated columns can cause a lot of performance issues. So please try to push all the calculated columns towards the source. Only create measures. And even when you create measures, I also recommend you that push those as well at the data source level. So that's the important thing that you should know. Now let's go to the demo. Over here, I have loaded this financial table. It's a sample data provided by Microsoft Desktop app. I'm using the latest version. So please download and install the latest version of Microsoft Power BI Desktop app because if there would be certain new features that would always be helpful for you. Here I have created this chart. So what I did, I just drag and drop certain columns over there and it's created. Very first, let's talk about implicit one. So as I mentioned that you are going to see this sigma in front of certain fields. That means you can apply those implicit over here or you can change them. Now, first by default, it's going to apply the sum. And if you want to change it, you can come here, click on arrow. And here you are going to change the field over there. But we would like to change this summarization over here. So here, these all are the implicit measures over here. So you can rather than you think, okay, you don't want this sum, you can even change it to average. So it's going to change the average value. But you have to first figure it out. What is that you want to do? And this is going to be very helpful for you over here. In certain cases, you don't need any summarization. So you can also choose no summarization over there. So this is implicit. Now, if I talk about explicit for that, either you can directly come under the modeling tab and here, not modeling tab. Uh, yes, over here in modeling tab, you can see this new measure, quick measure. So you can click this new measure and here it's going to show you the formula bar. And here you can start creating total sales because here I'm going to define my own logic. And in this case, I just want sum, which is a text function and then you need a sales amount. So here I have sales. So I'm going to use this and this is going to be my explicit measure. And you can see that it's over here. So I can drag it over here and now I can use it as a card that my total sales is this much, right? Or you can place it anywhere you would like to. For example, I can just place it over here. So this is my explicit measure. And if I talk about the compound one that also you can create it. So the measures that explicit measure that you are going to create, either you can create a new measure from here or you can create from there. So in the new measure, you can simply come again here and I'm going to say example of compound measure where let's say calculate the net sales and this would be my total sales. I can just call it like this total sales and then I can also minus discount, right? So this is my discounts. And for that also discount, you can create another major like total sales I have created. You can also create a discount, but here I can use it di directly over here and we can use it. So now this is going to be my net sales and I can change it. So there won't be any challenge with that. You can just adjust it and I can change its title or let it be like this only. There's no need to change. So these are your explicit versus implicit measure. If you would like to create a calculated columns that either you can create from here, the new column, or you can come over here and here I'm going to say, Hey, I want to create a new column over here. So what you can do, you are going to come here and there should be a column, the name new column. So let me go to home page and here's the new column. And I'm going to say month here. In order to calculate month here, I have to define some format. So I'm going to say format date. And here I can say, I can say MM YY. Let's see what we get it. And this is my month here format is over there. So this is your calculated column. Last part is quick measures, right? So we talked about the quick measures. So you can get them as well. So what you can do, you can come here again in the modeling tab, click on this quick measure. Here first you have to, first it's going to ask you that what do you want to perform? And here I come down and I say, hey, 
I need a division over here or addition, whatever you want. So in case, let's say we want a subtraction, right? But before that, let me just create a net sales as well. Let me create a new measure. And then I'm gonna call total discount. I'm gonna say, hey, sum and discounts, not ban, only discounts. And this is gonna be my total discount. So I have my total sales and total discounts. So now I can come here and I can say, hey, I want a difference of these and that would be my net sales. So I can say subtraction. So first you have to add a base value. That would be my total sales. This is my total sales and then value to subtract that you can say, hey, simply I want to subtract my net sales. So, sorry, total discount. So that's gonna give you your net sales. So simply click on add over here. Let's click. And I believe it's already created over here. So, okay, so it's already created over here. We don't need to create again another one. So you can delete them as well from here. I don't need it for my model, so delete it. And here you can rename it. So the name, I don't like this one, so I would like to call it net sales only. So as you can see over here, that without doing any complex calculations or writing code by yourself, you can use this quick measure tab, which is gonna help you out. And then just commit this one by clicking on this one or hit the return or enter button into your on your keyboard also you can use suggestion with copilot but copilot is not enabled over here so we cannot use it for now so now you can close this close this and you can try to bring it over here it should be same as this one and here you can see that both are exactly the same so you can also put them over here if you would like to but I'll leave it over here. So it's up to you that how you would like to design your report. So this was all about the, so this was all about how to add measures into your data model. What are different kinds of measures? What is the difference between calculated column and calculated measure? I hope you like this video and you can do some more practices. If you would like to do more practice, please use this link. I'm gonna provide in the description section where you can learn everything about it. What is a measure, what is implicit measure, what is explicit measure, what are the quick measures. And also you can do exercise over here. Please utilize this forum. This is gonna be really helpful for you. Otherwise, if you have any question and concern, please do let me know, comment in the comment section and also Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also, if you're looking for any Microsoft Power BI, Microsoft Fabric training programs, please do reach out to us. In case you are looking for any consulting services, then also reach out to us and we are gonna help you over there too. Till then, keep learning and keep exploring the world of data and I'm gonna see you in the next video.